Hi guys, welcome back to the second day of Winter Nail Art Week already and for today's video and design I'm going to do a cute press-on set. Of course you can do this on your own natural nails or maybe even some tips as well. Maybe you want to do this with regular nail polishes all is good when it comes to nail art, nail polishes and so on. But for today's video, I really wanted to do a super sparkly and super red festive design. So I just decided to do this press on wise and I used some of my beautiful Madame Glam gel polishes as well. But first of all, if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you would like to do so and become a part of my little nail family here at YouTube as well. Of course, you can always click that little bell icon if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. Usually that is three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, but of course, for this particular winter nail art week i will be posting seven days in a row but yeah here i already showed you really quickly all of the colors that i wanted to use and of course i have sized up the press on nails to my particular like sizes i'd say of course my irregular like natural nails are way longer at the moment so i'm not going to actually wear them right now but yeah you know, you never know when you're going to break a nail or have shorter nails and you just want to throw on some press-ons. But the beautiful main red color that I'm going to use is of course by Madame Glam. All of the gel polishes I am using in this particular set are by Madame Glam and I do have a 30% discount code if you want to check out these gels yourself. I'm not being paid or anything like that to actually use these items or to actually share the discount code. I'm not earning anything by that. Just so you know, it's just a little something that um, Madame Glam has shared with me to share with you guys so you can actually save some money yourself but the red color i am using is called mother chucker and it is i think from last year's fall collection if i remember correctly i really love this color it is a perfect like royal rich christmassy red color of course if you don't celebrate christmas the way that i do here in the netherlands that's totally fine as well you can still definitely use this color because it is a stunner and you can just use it all year round as well but for this design, especially the thumbnail that I'm going to start off with, I have already applied two layers of that beautiful red color. And I am going to add some gems to this entire design, just a beautiful cluster that I picked out on forehand. And I'm going to add some other like um, pearls as well to some of the other nails, but you will see that in a little bit. But I'm just going in with a layer of no wipe top coat and I'm going to press the little cluster onto that you can just keep on moving it and just cure it whenever you feel like it is in place or at least where you want this cluster to be i have purchased the cluster i think like a year maybe two years ago somewhere at aliexpress don't ask me where because i literally can't find the link anymore and maybe if i can find it the chances are very high that this product is already discontinued or sold out or anything like that so yeah if you're looking for something similar like this you can easily make it yourself as well with like just loose gems and just pearls and stuff like that but you can also just look at aliexpress yourself just type in gem cluster or nail gem cluster cluster or something like that and I'm sure you'll be able to find some beautiful clusters. After you have cured that in place I'm just going in with an extra layer of that top coat just to make sure that it will stay in place as well. You can use some like gem gel glue or something like that too. I don't have that. I don't use that myself. I just always make my gems and all that jazz stay put with just a good layer of no wipe top coat that works fine my gems last for at least two to three weeks that way and yeah personally for my natural nails i don't like to use nail glue or something like that so if you do have a really good recommendation for a good like gem gel glue do let me know in comment section down below but let's continue with the pointer fingernail already. I have already applied one coat of that beautiful red color and I'm going in with this super chunky, glittery, ultra festive <laughs> glittery polish by Madame Glam as well. I think this one was from a previous collection somewhere last year or maybe even the year before. 
I'm not quite sure. I have like... I think I got this one in a little earlier this year, but it was from uh, like an older collection from I think 2018 or something like that. I'm not quite sure, but I am going to show you all of the colors and the names. So if you want to check it out, you can easily find the polishes that I'm using in this particular design on madamglam.com yourself. So yeah, Madame Glam is definitely one of my favorite gel polish brands. I actually stick to two brands that I use on my own natural nails because I feel like those are for me personally the best brands to use. They don't damage my nails and so on. And I just love working with them. So yeah, I'm just going to apply, of course, that beautiful glitter. You can just play around with that a bit and just place the chunky glitter wherever you want it to be. You can add a little more. You can remove a little bit if you want to. After that is cured, I'm going in with my top coat again and I'm going to add a beautiful half pearl that I've also picked out on forehand. That is something that I would really recommend you guys doing. Just pick out your gems and all that stuff on forehand. Of course, you can always make up your mind or just wing it during the process of making the design. You don't have to use everything you've picked. I rarely do so myself. But of course, after you've cured that half pearl with that first coat of top coat, I'm going in with the second coat, making sure to really go around the edges of the pearl to make sure that it will last a longer period of time without just randomly popping off in a really awkward moment. Like I have that all the time, especially if I use like gems with uh, regular nail polishes because I have quite a manual job. Like I lose gems really quickly at my work. Um, but if I do it like this, like especially um, if I do this kind of design with like regular nail polishes and I apply an extra layer of top coat or maybe even two, they do last a lot longer and you don't need any nail glue. But yeah. Anyways, I'm just rambling along while doing this voiceover and just watching how I've applied this because I have pre-recorded these seven videos that I'm posting this week, like the seven videos in a row. I have pre-recorded it in, I'd say, October, November. I really love working ahead with stuff like this because you never know what happens. Maybe you can get ill or something like that. Maybe work is just overflowing and you don't have enough time to do stuff like this so one like big tip i'd say if you want to do youtube yourself and really do like a full week or maybe even an entire month of videos make sure you have prepped everything on forehand before you're going in with your little like video marathon i'd say just seriously scheduling and just prepping is key in my opinion but back to the design because i'm working on the middle fingernail already I have applied the first red coat and just cured that fully for half a minute. Then I went in with a second layer but didn't cure that because I'm doing a drag marble for this fingernail with a beautiful like shimmery soft golden polish which is actually from a very recent collection if I remember correctly. I think it was the October collection but I'm not completely sure. And of course adding a little bit of that chunky glittery um, polish as well of course you can always add a little extra i'm going to do so for the like the vanilla kind of shimmery gold polish as well because i felt like after marbling with my dotting tool like the colors into each other a little more i felt like it got a little dull or at least it just was a little like overruled by the other red colors so yeah i'm just going to pick up a little bit with my dotting tool and just add a little more that is like the awesome thing with gel polishes. You can just keep on working with it and yeah, just make sure everything is the way you want it to be before you cure it. And these Madame Glam gel polishes only have to cure for 30 seconds, which is pretty awesome because not everyone has a ton of time to actually sit down and do their nails for like three hours or something like that. So curing time for 30 seconds is like perfect in my opinion. But yeah, after everything is in place and the marble is the way I want it to be, I'm just going in to my LED light again, cure that for 30 seconds and just go in with my top coat, cure that again and you are completely done with this nail already. 
of course you could also add some gems or pearls or something like that but i really wanted to let the focus of this nail be on the marble and not really on any additional like bling or embellishments and stuff like that because the other nails are already quite like overruling I'd say especially the thumb and the full on glitter nails with the pearls so you just want to keep it simple and not get it like to be one big circus of course I really love that as well I really love to bling out every single nail every now and then but for this design I just decided to keep the middle finger just simple and just a nice drag marble then for the ring finger I wanted to do something extra as well so of course I went in with two coats of that beautiful mother chucker red just cure each layer in between and of course if you are going to do this on your own natural nails like I usually do make sure that you have done a good base a good prep and so on you just want to make sure that you can get rid of the red color after the holiday season is over of course but then after curing the red, I just added a little bit of that beautiful vanilla golden shimmery color to one of my resin plates. And I'm just going to take one of my dotting tools and make kind of like a golden drip design. Of course, you can also choose to go for more of like an icy kind of drippy look, but I just love dripping nail designs like i love them i think they're really cute and you can definitely spice it up for any time of year to be honest just like i'm doing right here i just wanted to incorporate a little bit more of that gold so yeah this was the perfect way to do so of course you want to make sure that you have gotten rid of most of the patchy spots or maybe that's the look you want to go for definitely keep it that way then but other than that, um, I actually did cure this for a full minute because I did apply quite a lot of that gel polish just to make the drips more of like a 3D effect. So yeah, just make sure you have cured it for a long enough time so it isn't like soft or runny or anything like that. After every single layer is cured, you just want to go in with your top coat. I'm just using the No Wipe Top Coat by Madame Glam, which is my favorite one. I really love the fact that you just plonk that on, make sure you've kept the edges, cure it for 30 seconds, and you're good to go. There's like no sticky layer or any other sticky residue you have to remove afterwards. So yeah, I really, really love that one. So definitely check that top coat out if you're curious about it, because it is, once again, definitely one of my favorites but then for the pinky nail I just decided to do exactly the same design as we did for the pointer so just apply that beautiful red color cure that for 30 seconds and then go in with that chunky glittery I'd say like it's not really like a top coat because it still has like that tacky layer and it is sold as a regular like gel polish but the glitters in there are so chunky i love it one thing is that not everyone will love this because it can be quite sparse once applied on a nail and you really have to work with it a little bit so yeah just take your time with it don't rush it if you rush it and get annoyed it will only show in the nail design in the end so just take your time and definitely have some patience with polishes like this as well because they can be quite a hassle but in the end like the end result is really pretty really flashy like shimmery glittery very gorgeous then of course i'm going to add a pearl as well just like i did for the pointer finger and just cure that for a full minute of course you want to put the pearl into the wet layer of top coat and after that is cured just go around the pearl with an extra layer of that top coat sometimes i go over my pearls and not my gems never go over gems by the way because that will definitely dull their shine but for this particular design i just decided to go around it because it was quite a big pearl and once again i didn't want to like have any chances of this design getting any dulled out or something like that but yeah, that was actually the entire press-on set already and the entire second video of my winter nail art week so far. Definitely let me know what you think about this design. Is it something that you would wear? Do you like red colors? Do you even wear red colors this time of year? Let me know in the comment section down below. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you so much. And as usual, I hope to see you in my next video.